We're down at the Romero Rackets with some lovely people here today. Some guests. We have Amy Summers and Hi. Sean Poe. We just want to talk about growing your social media following on Instagram, Snapchat, and would like to share some of their tips and tricks on the trade. Mm -hmm. So we'll start with Amy Summers. Um, hi guys, so I'll be modeling for maybe five or six years, maybe a little bit longer. I started when I was younger. So for my Instagram, my Instagram pretty much is a portfolio of my work. Um, just sort of portraying different things that I'm doing, um, magazines that I'm in, and that kind of thing. So when I started really working on my Instagram, I found that the content is extremely important. The quality of the content and also having a mixture, for me, having a mixture of professional photos, also self-taken photos, um, so then they can kind of get like a guide on what your life's like and, and they can see you like like the self-taken photos, they kind of like it because it's they feel more personal and then the professional photos are to show my work and, and what I do and, and that kind of thing. And for regarding of growing the followers, um, Obviously for a female it's a lot easier, <laughs> especially if you're, you know, attractive looking, I guess you can call it, um, it's a lot easier because, you know, lots of guys want to follow you and see what you're doing, um, but it takes quite a while to grow your following, so you just need to have a consistency of uh, images and you really need to be posting most days. Um, I would say every day if you can, um, if you kind of skip a day, you know, that's fine, but you really want people to see you as often as possible. I find that now with Instagram, especially that's like the main platform, now that they have the story option, I actually get a lot more views on the story than on the actual photos, sometimes on the pages. So it's really important for your fans to see what you're doing, just little clips of what you're doing during the day or... Um, you know whatever industry that you're in just you know constantly every day posting what you're doing um, things like that just gets interest and and especially if you're talking to the audience as well like I quite often like to do some selfie videos or photos and I'm talking to the audience telling them what I'm doing giving them an insight on my life um, with my social media, I like to for people to see what I'm doing and also see behind the scenes because it's a little bit more interesting. They can see behind the scenes and then they can see the actual photo on the Instagram page as well. I find with the growing of the Instagram, I do quite often I'll do shares with other friends in the same kind of industries as me. So finding other people in similar industries, collaborating together, so doing photo shoots together, um, you know, working with clothing lines or anything really, working with food companies or whatever you're into, collaborating is huge. Like, that's the best way you can grow your Instagram. Um, also, getting on the explore page, you really need to try and get on the explore page because that's where people see you, like, that don't even know who you are. Um, and with the hashtagging, um, you want to make sure that you do, is it 20 hashtags or? 20 or 30 so as soon as you post your photo then you put your hashtags underneath and that's just anything that relates to what you're doing or any kind of audience that you're wanting to appeal to um, with with growing Instagram it does take a while so you have to be patient um, I find that when I do magazines they come out I get like really good hits from that um, when I do media stuff especially if um, like I've had signings and things for some of the magazines that I've done then that usually um, works really well for me but also working together with other people helps grow you the most and I think sometimes um, people don't realize that but collaborating working with different people um, just actually helping each other um, is the most important thing working together with people tagging like everyone who's yeah. involved in the projects that you're on um, that always helps everyone and you know no matter what people's following is if they're helping you you're helping them it, that's just the way the way the best way to grow your Instagram awesome. what do you think I think I think Amy's pretty much covered it all <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of just like blah 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 um. <laughs> For me as a photographer, it's, it's a bit different. Um, I think the, th the things that I focus on that I find work really well for me is obviously keeping my quality up there mm -hmm. and 
being consistent so you mentioned yeah. consistency which is really good and posting a lot so yeah. um, I try and post every day and I I learn you know which is the best time mm-hmm. yeah uh, people are gonna see it best um, time is really important too. yeah yeah and and that time is you know um, whether it's in Australia or in America I'll, I'll study those times as well mm-hmm. um, collaborating so, is a big thing like you mentioned so do you have um, on your Instagram you have it set up as a business yeah, page yeah. Mm-hmm. so if you have it set up as an actual business it will give you the insights and then it will have a flow chart from the whole day and then it will have what's the best time to post yeah. and that's like really important yeah. because everyone's best time to post is different depending on your audience mm-hmm. so for mine I have to wake up at 4 a.m. Um, and I have to post at 4 a.m. Um, every day yeah, so American that's because yeah, I have an American yeah. fan base like that's my biggest fan base but I have like a lot like lots of different countries but depending on where your fan base is then you need to consider that it's it's always going to be really tough to grow from the beginning um, collaborating is a big thing so making sure that you Know, you're working with the right people um, you may have to um, give up some of your time but uh, I think as a photographer you'll, you'll always get some benefit out of it whether it's just content or uh, networking it's a, a really big thing um, that's all I've got at the top uh, of my how, how, how do you like get started with photography and how, how do you like grow in your net, network yeah. so I started about five years ago um, all self-taught um, all, all self-learned and I just I did a whole year where I had to focus on um, establishing my quality my style and then with the right people so um, that was that was a slow year but after that it, it kind of picked up I think timing um, yeah. was really on my side around the fitness industry yeah. um, I think also like some people that you worked with too like some really amazing people you have shot with like yourself. I, yeah, <laughs> they, well other people see that especially for me like if I see girls that I inspire to or that um, I know and I see someone like a photographer shot with them I'm like cool he's got to be good you know like and I think that helps get more work yeah I th- for yourself I think as a photographer um, trust is a really big thing mm-hmm. so like you're saying if, yeah. you, if you work with the right people and 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 um, it's a very small industry so um, obviously, my name is attached to my work, so it's yeah. it's not hard for people to um, straight away critique you, and and um, that will that will go through the industry really really quick. Yeah. So I, I, those are things I focus on. So um, yeah, trust is a big thing. Professionalism, quality, yeah. consistency, yeah. and it just it just takes time. Yeah. Yeah. For someone that's just um, getting started on Instagram, how would you, how would you tell them to like get started? Um, I think one is get lots of content so you need to have like a save couple it up. Save content, yeah save yeah. content so even if you do like get a whole bunch of shots and then you can drip feed it over like a few weeks um, because there's nothing worse than like the next day you're like oh I've got no photos what do I do so if you're wanting to work on your Instagram then take a whole lot of shots prior um, even like a couple of weeks worth of photos um, or videos or whatever you want to be posting about so you, on, you have constant like content to be posting um, another thing is for me like Instagram has become really like a professional thing as well so you really need to watch um, what you're putting on there to you want to portray your image in a certain way um, and also with obviously and the setup of Instagram putting in like your name putting in your details putting in your website um, also putting in your email address and, and just keeping it really professional so that people can contact you it has in your information like fitness beauty or any kind of like thing that you're interested in so it's sort of like set up as I guess a portfolio like that's the way I see it um, I think if you're posting like sometimes you can post memes or things like that it's just keeping it like really yeah. consistent and, and keeping it like of a high level of quality like I know a lot of girls now like girls like myself who you know get paid to post and work with um, different brands we actually buy like a, a little digital camera that we use and you can just Wi-Fi it to your phone so it just gives the image like a high quality um, I think that's really important as well how do you like have for someone that's growing their social media following on Instagram, a woman, uh, per se or men, <laughs> how, would, how how do you reach out to people when, on social media? And what, what what would you say the best ways to go to get like say a few shout me out, 
can you shut, you know? Like, what, like yeah. you shut out a lot of your um, girlfriends? Yeah, like, a, a lot of people I work with. So, like, I know them personally. Um, so, yep. I just, like, hey, girl, like, let's do a share or let's collaborate. Um, but you can literally reach out to anyone that you want on Instagram. Like, if they check their direct messages, like, don't be afraid to message anyone, no matter who they are or what they're doing. Because, I mean, a lot of the time, you get inflicted in like so many messages but also like I check my messages for work because I get people contacting me for work so feel free to like message anyone um, that you think that you have similar kind of pages or you can collaborate with something because you'll be surprised the amount of people that actually get back to you and, and want to work together so I think reaching out is really big and, and don't be afraid to do that at all it, it makes a big difference even if you don't know, know them or you know, people, you'll be surprised how many people are really nice and they'll reply and they'll be like, hey, cool, no worries, and yeah. I think if you're starting out, definitely just putting yourself out there is a big thing. Mm -hmm. um, just, again, back to consistency, like, you just need content, so yeah. the, pe the people that really take Instagram seriously are ones that will think about good captions prior to the post, um, have mm -hmm. good content to rely on, um, you know, they're, they're interacting with people that are interacting with them, and you just never know where it will take you. It could you know something could go viral? Mm -hmm. um, like yeah. I'm saying, the explore page is, is pretty cool if you get put on that. Yeah. But I think also maybe just linking all your other social media. So, mm. yeah. um, say Instagram, link it to your Snapchat, and then on your Snapchat, shouting your own Instagram out. Yeah. And then and then Facebook as well, making sure you're getting all your friends to um, really believe believe what you're doing and, and, and get them to uh, refer as well. Because I think your own network's probably going to be yeah. a good starter. Definitely. Like if you have um, a lot of friends on Facebook, you can actually link them directly into your. Um, Instagram and that gets like a whole bunch of followers straight away and even like people like you said just reminding people like sometimes you have to post it like every every couple of days or say hey like you guys following me on Instagram or following me on snapchat because sometimes they don't always see that post so I think yeah just shouting out on all different platforms and also tagging and linking everything in like if you're YouTubing put all your links below for your snapchat instagram all that kind of thing so yeah it's a good way from getting your friends to follow you and then getting their friends and it kind of expanding from there it's a good start it's it's definitely not easy i think for starters um especially now because i think the yeah. uh, was it, the logarithm and stuff is algorithm sorry is changing. is all changing yeah and, and so you, you 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 may have to put some money into sponsored posts mm. i i i have paid for sponsored posts I don't yeah. think it's a, a massive cost. Yeah, um, for just me. a booster. Yeah, I mean, if, if I if I book a, a shoot from a sponsored post, then that covers that advertising material pretty pretty easy. So yeah, like yeah. definitely early on on platform and sponsored content is a lot cheaper. And then when everyone jumps on it, it starts to go up. So last year on Facebook, we're talking what twenty bucks, and you'd get twenty to thirty followers, and get like a lot of views. But now hundred bucks I think a mate only got about with a sponsor post depending on the content as well got gets around 30k 30k views for 400 bucks at the yeah. at the minute in 2000 what June 2017 <laughs> and, and and really target your audience I yeah, mean, so yeah. For me, I, I don't um, select Wellington or yeah. uh, South oh, Island yeah. I'm not planning to go down there I really just focus on, on Auckland yeah, target, yeah. yeah. And, and if I'm going to Australia, I'll start changing that to Australia. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I find sometimes too, like, um, I actually like to ask my fans what they want to see as well. So they might be like, hey, you know, we haven't really seen how you do this, or we haven't, like, especially for, like, behind the scenes stuff. For me, I'm, I'm starting my YouTube channel, and I'm, I'm kind of focusing on all the things that I do that I don't kind of, like, people don't know about, like, what I what I do for my hair and makeup if I'm doing a photo shoot um, also I'm doing some training videos as well so like just my kind of training and exercise and and things that you know people don't see that you're doing behind the scenes um, is That's quite interesting as well because some of my fans might be like hey like I really want to see you doing this or you know so get input from your fans get input from your friends show your friends your Instagram say hey like what do you think like what this will look like because it's always good to get other opinions from other people and and yeah just network networking is the biggest thing with any business any career 
with everything. So just networking, like go to events that might have the same kind of people with the same interests as you. Meet new people there and then do shout outs or do collaborations and, and all those sort of things like networking with people, like going out to events that you think that will help or, you know, that is like huge. Awesome. Okay, so go follow Amy Lee at Amy Lee Summers. <laughs> Amy Lee Summers and um, Sean. Sean Poe, mine's uh, S Poe Photo, one word. <laughs> S Poe Photo, guys. Awesome, cool. thanks. Thank you.